Hi, this is Craig Wesco recording for S2P.org. And today we're going to be asking the question, will animals be in heaven? So another way of phrasing this question, will animals be in the new kingdom, in the new earth, in the kingdom of heaven? There's a lot of different terminology that's used there. But basically, will we be alone, just people, or will we be with animals for all eternity? That's kind of the question at stake here. So we'll call it, will there be animals in heaven? So I want to start out by looking at Ecclesiastes 3.19. Uh, in that passage, it talks about animals and humans having the same fate. So just as uh, whatever happens to people, animals have that same fate. And so that's the, the most convincing piece of evidence, that if we have the same fate, then the answer should be yes, right? Well, there's a lot more evidence as well. So if we think back to the beginning of Genesis, uh, chapter 1, verse 20 through, say, 31, uh, it talks about a creation account that's very good, and it includes all the animals. There's a lot of discussion about animals and the relationship between animals and people and how the earth is intended for all creatures to inhabit simultaneously, for people and animals to all uh, kind of be in harmony on the earth. So if animals have been part of God's creation plan from the beginning, then why wouldn't they be in the, the fulfillment of that, right? And in fact, in Isaiah chapter 11, verses 6 through 9, that's exactly what we see, is we see a very beautiful kind of image of a little child leading all the animals, nobody hurting each other, people not hurting animals, animals not hurting each other, people not hurting people. And so everybody has knowledge of God and even a little child, a person is leading the animals. So in this description of the kingdom, animals are, are included very much so. And in the beginning account of creation, animals also play a prominent role. So animals have always been part of God's plan. So the question, will animals be with us for all eternity? I think scripture is very clear. The answer is yes, they will be. So then the next question is, will they be the same animals? And that's a little bit different question. Like our, say a companion animal, we have a dog that maybe we've, has been part of our life for 10 or 15 years. And we're like, well, will I see that dog again? And so that's, that's the next question, which I think there is convincing evidence also for that. So let's look at some passages pertaining to that. It says in Revelation 5.13 uh, about how the, these animals are praising God. And then again in Revelation 4 verse 8, more depiction of animals praising God. So what are we going to be doing in the kingdom? We're all going to be praising God. And it says here animals are talked about as praising God. So if animals are praising God in the, king, in the kingdom, they're created with at least this capacity to praise God. And so if they're praising God, just like we're praising God, why would they not be in the kingdom just like we're in, this, in the kingdom, right? So that, that's pretty convincing for me, but there's also more. If we look at the account in Numbers 22, verse 21 through 39, that's the account of Balaam and Balaam's donkey. And basically what's going on there is uh, Balaam does all these things that are, that are worthy of death. And his donkey actually acts stubborn and saves his life. And even at the expense of Balaam beating that donkey, thinking the donkey's just being disobedient to him, when in fact the donkey is saving his life. And so after Balaam realizes what was happening, it becomes clear that the donkey was actually the hero of the story. There are a few other instances of animals playing prominent roles in scripture. Uh, so it's like, if we think of all the hero characters throughout scripture, like Moses and, you know, Jesus, the apostles, you know, Joseph, all these like righteous people that were, you know, the hero character, characters throughout scripture. And we ask, well, are they going to be in the kingdom? Are they going to be in heaven? You know, most people would say, well, of course, you know, if, like they're, they're going to play prominent roles in the kingdom. Well, what about Balaam's donkey? because Balaam's donkey was also a hero of the Bible. And so why would Balaam's donkey not be in the kingdom of heaven? And so once we admit that, okay, there will be animals in heaven, and why would there not be Balaam's donkey in the kingdom, then, well, why not all these other animals that, that have also played prominent roles? And, you know, even if they're not in scripture, like Balaam's donkey is, why wouldn't they be in the kingdom? 
So that's more evidence in favor. And if we look at John 12, 14, and 15, we see that Jesus riding a donkey fulfills scripture. So if that donkey hadn't, hadn't played a role in, in fulfilling that scripture, uh, uh, pointing to the Messiah, and Jesus says that Messiah, then, uh, you know, it wouldn't have been fulfilled. And so animals also fulfill scripture. And then in my mind, the, like, the, the sort of the most convincing piece of evidence that it will be the same animals is that we think of Genesis 9.15 and Hosea 2.18. These are two promises God makes, covenant promises, pertaining to the animals. So in Genesis 9.15, he says, my covenant is with all the animals. So he makes covenant promises with all the animals. And Hosea 2.18 is a promise to the animals that there will come a time when all weapons are banished from the earth and they will all lie down safely. And that's a fulfillment of the Isaiah 11 prophecy of all the animals lying down safely as well. So I think it's very clear that there will be animals in the kingdom, and I think there's also pretty convincing evidence that there'll be many of the same animals. So will we be able to be reunited with those animals that we've loved in this lifetime? I believe that there's evidence to suggest yes. Uh, and But we're also going to be reunited with all the animals that we tortured and killed and took their babies away from and tortured and enslaved. So we might have some apologies to make, and certainly we would want to repent and not do those things anymore. So this is Craig Wesco recording for S2P.org.